All right, most of us know someone who would really benefit from a new breakthrough medication, but that takes a lot of money and a lot of brilliant people with innovative ideas. Well, that's where an unusual biotech incubator in La Jolla comes in, and 10 News anchor Virginia Cha is joining us now with how it's exploding in growth. Virginia? Well, Kim, not only is the unique incubator lab space we revealed to you a year ago booming, it's showing why the next big thing in medicine could come from San Diego. Joe Pagliano has discovered something game-changing. The shortcut for finding new antibiotics. The UCSD microbiology professor's technology cuts the search time for new antibiotics from months, even years, down to hours. But he needed a place to work, so he and his scientist wife founded Linnaeus Bioscience here in Janssen Labs. They provide everything you need, all of the space, all of the equipment, infrastructure that you don't even realize that you're going to need. I don't think we could have gotten going any other way. A year ago, Janssen looked like this. Today, it has grown beyond expectations. Dr. Diego Morales came up with the idea for this 30,000 square foot lab space stocked with expensive equipment for startups for just the price of rent. What's more, parent company Johnson & Johnson takes no cut from discoveries. Isn't that unusual? It's very unusual. There's no other place like it in the world. The reason why it has no strings attached is because entrepreneurs don't like to be owned. Which could stifle development. Amplex Pharmaceuticals, now working on an antifungal drug, will go from three employees to nine in about six months. Our efficiency has, you know, gone up by uh, almost threefold. Janssen only takes 10 percent of applicants. Companies from as far away as Italy and Germany have come here. In just a year, the number of startups in Janssen Labs has more than quadrupled which is why they're expanding, adding this concept lab and extra office space. In six months, Linnaeus is already working with large pharmaceuticals to find a new antibiotic that can take on resistant bacteria. The next replacement for penicillin, which will go on to save countless lives, could be discovered right in this room. Could be. Of course, testing a new drug still takes years. Meantime, even though there are no strings attached, Dr. Morales says several of the startups have chosen to talk to Johnson & Johnson about working together. I'm Virginia Chaw, 10 News. That's exciting.